Look here at this expression, the unit circle, x squared plus y squared equals r squared centered around the origin. We are interested in this, your second order derivative. Now look, when you looking at this, you're solving for y, you have here a function develops, y is equal to root of r squared minus x squared. You can do the derivative of this to get at the first order. Or it's simpler just to do the derivative of this expression, you'll have here 2x plus 2y and then dy over dx is equal to derivative of a constant 0. You're solving for dy over dx and you know you have over here minus x over y. This represents your first order derivative. You can resubstitute the y minus x over square root of r square minus x square. But we are interested in this, the second order. You can do the second order derivative of this to the quotient rule and it will be an extra amount of work. If you were to just use this, it will be so much easier and let's use it. I have a f function and a g function. Just run minus x over y through your quotient rule. You'll have your g function times the derivative of your f function, which is minus 1. Minus your f function times the derivative of your g function, which is just a dy over dx. Over what? Your g function squared. Now, resubstitute dy or dx. What is it? It's this or it's this. It can be easier just to bring this here, minus x over y. And I'll show you why. Run this to your fraction algebra here in the numerator. You'll have a minus y square minus x square over y over y square. This here is the numerator expression. When you clear out, you'll have here what? Minus y square minus x square over what? y cube. Now all you have to do is resubstitute your y item, which is this, and you'll do it. You'll have a minus your y, which is square root of r square minus x square. This is to the power of 2 minus x square divided by this. r square minus x square root to the power of 3, which I'll write as 3 over 2. When you clean this out, what happens? The square root cancels out with this exponent. You'll have here minus r square plus x square. The x square items will cancel out. What will remain is your second order derivative will be minus r square over r square minus x square all to the power of 3 over 2. Let's clean this out. It will be all to the power of what? 3 over 2. And this right here will be your second order derivative. We're running it here to the easier mode of using this rather than using this. When you're looking here for these type of expressions and you've done some so, sort of a implicit differentiation type of procedure, it's always easier to run through your implicit items, do your substitution at the very end, which is what I did. It would have been much more work running this through your quotient rule. The end result would still have been the same. This end result here is correct, minus r square over r square minus x square all to the power of 3 over 2.